not by much. Looks like some shit you'd see on Alien. Wow. Want to put a mag in that? Yeah. Okay. I suppose that'll be a little bit more. It's going to be advantageous to you. Yep. 12 seconds later. Clear, go ahead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. As you can see, this video is going to be on the OA Defense 2311 Compact Pro and a pistol that I'm extremely excited for. It's been a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, this video is a really quick turnaround because the pistol that I have is a T&E model. So uh, full disclosure, OA Defense did send this pistol to me, but I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent about it. I'm going to talk about the good things, talk about the bad things, and let you guys decide whether or not this is the pistol for you. But my question to you guys right off the bat is, what's your opinions on the 1911? Are you in that two world wars camp or uh, are you like, eh, polymer frame striker fired pistols are better? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Uh, this pistol has been, like I said, a lot of fun to shoot and a pistol that is kind of, I would say somewhat in that do all style of pistol. Let's take a look at it. We are again talking about the Compact Pro from OA Defense. Now, OA Defense is what used to be called Oracle Arms. They've rebranded to OA Defense. So if I see either one of those, just realize that it's OA Defense. Essentially, this is a double stacked 9mm 1911, uh, staccato esque, if you would like. Um, I know that in the review of the full size. 2311 from OA Defense. A lot of people were like, oh, I'll just save my money and um, buy a Staccato and, you know, be done with it. Well, I've got some reasons why you may not want to do that. But let's dive into this particular pistol because there are several improvements that they've made over their stock compact model. This is going to be uh, the smaller version, so it is going to have the 4.25 inch barrel. Uh, some really nice high-vis uh, tritium field front night sights uh, on all of their models is something I really, really do like. Uh, you're going to get five magazines from the manufacturer. Now, if you're, again, not familiar with OA Defense, these are P320 magazines, and that's something that makes these 9mm 1911 different from like a Staccato or Prodigy. Um, kind of like what the Platypus is doing with the Glock mags. This one is doing the P320 magazines and there is a reason for that. Number one, the guys over at OA Defense, they're big fans of the P320. Uh, right or wrong, that's them and uh, that's great for them. One of the great things about why they've set this up is that it reduces the cost of ownership. So instead of spending 70 to $90 on Staccato magazines, now you can pick up P320 magazines for half the cost, somewhere around that $30 to $35 mark. Another great thing about this is that since it does accept the P320 magazine, it's going to take not only the 15 rounders, but the larger capacity magazines as well. So there is that aspect of it. Something I really thought was a good idea, a good take of the uh, double stack 9mm 1911. So just like a Staccato, you're going to have a polymer grip module that is bolted onto a 7075 aluminum frame. And then you're going to have your standard 70 series trigger in here, exactly what you'd expect. So you're going to have that really nice Go ahead and double check we're clear we're going to have that really nice um, break no take up whatsoever just a really nice break and then a awesome reset on this really audible tactile and short as well so those follow-up shots are going to be uh, quick and easy for you guys 
So some of the enhancements that they've done with the Compact Pro is the fact that they have uh, enhanced the trigger. So you're looking at about a three and a half to four pound trigger right out of the box, which is really cool. In addition to that, they have enhanced the magazine release. So um, it's a little bit larger. And for me with small Doug Flutie hands, uh, puts it in a place that I can really get to it nice and easy. Not to mention as I marry up my non-shooting hand, I don't feel as if that enhanced enlarged magazine release is getting in the way of my grip. So that is a uh, nice added bonus as well. Uh, just like all of the other 2311s from OA Defense, you're going to have that uh, gas pedal on the frame that really helps with mitigating the recoil. But in addition to that, the Compact Pro is going to have a ported slide and barrel. So that is going to really help in uh, reducing the muzzle flip that you would feel from like 124 grain plus P's. And then if you're shooting 115 grains, it's going to dampen that recoil even more. So that's something I really, really did like with this. Um, with this pistol and the setup. Now, again, this pistol is supposed to challenge the market share of the Staccato, specifically the Staccato C2. Uh, again, this is going to have a ported barrel and lightning clips on the slide. It's going to come with all of the different plates that you uh, would need for mounting whatever red dot that you want. It comes with five magazines. It's going to have a flared magazine well for those higher capacity magazines if you want to use this for competition and it's doing all of that with a really nice savior bag at the same price point as a staccato c2 in which you're only getting the pistol and two magazines so i think that um oa defense is really punching up when it comes to this pistol a lot of you might be the type of person that's like oh well i'm just going to save my money and purchase a staccato. Okay, great. Well, to get you where you need to be, to be equal to this and what you get from the manufacturer, you're gonna to have to buy another three magazines. So there's at least $180 more. Uh, you're going to have to purchase a uh, optic solution if you wanna mount a red dot. Um, I don't know what bag, uh, what case or whatever comes with the staccato, but the Savior bags are really, really nice. Um, and the additional cost that you're spending for all of the things that you need to equal this could go into a case of ammo and you could go straight to the range and start shooting right away. Another great feature about this pistol as well in comparison to the Staccato or even the Springfield Prodigy is that this is not going to have a grip safety. And for some people that may not be that big of a deal uh, if you have a good grip a good positive solid foundation on your grip that uh, grip safety is not going to be an issue however grip safeties are a failure point regardless if you don't grab your pistol the correct way each each and every single time um, it's still a mechanical device in the pistol that could fail uh, regardless if it's the spring or the pins or whatever the case may be it's a failure point so removing that uh, creates a more reliable platform, in my opinion. Now let's talk about reliability. I have put 250 rounds through this in approximately four days. Uh, the first day uh, was at a two gun shoot. I had to zero the red dot, but we'll get into that after we show you guys the first mag out of this. 124 grain bellum. No problems. So the first magazine was Bellum 124 grain um, ammunition and uh, I was just shooting to check functionality of the pistol and what I did was pulled this straight out of the box. I didn't lubricate it, I didn't clean it, I didn't do anything. I don't advocate for you guys to do that. As a reviewer, I do that 
to see if there's going to be any issues with it uh, right out you of the box. Clipped, and it looks like you clipped the no problems uh, whatsoever. Hanger. After that first magazine, I switched over to Max Tech 115 grain ammunition, and uh, that is extremely inexpensive uh, ammunition. So, needless to say, uh, that ammunition ran really well. I had one failure to feed, which could have been an ammunition issue, but it could have also been something with the pistol as well. But within the, I think it was the third magazine is when I had that one failure to feed. And since then, I've had zero issues running 115 grains. So that says a lot about this pistol and that uh, it's ready to run right out of the box. Now, is it going to be as refined as a staccato? No, I don't think so. Uh, you're probably going to have some um, tolerance issues, I would say. Uh, this is probably going to have, um, th their tolerances are going to be a little wider to allow for this to run whatever you want right out of the box, where staccatos are going to have an intentional break-in period. You're going to have to figure out what ammunition works well with it, so on and so forth, where this is meant kind of more for duty use, but could easily be used for competition. So I've talked a lot about all the great things going on with this pistol. Let's talk about some of the things that I'm um, not the biggest fan of. And I can tell you, it's pretty limited. Um, now, naturally, I've only got 250 rounds through this, so a full test on whether or not this is 100% reliable, if it's going to have a failure point at like uh, 800 or 1,000 round mark, Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do this. This is a T&E model, so I'm going to have to send it right back to uh, OA Defense. Uh, but what I will say is, in the first 250 rounds, it's been reliable. At 10 yards, it's been uh, very accurate with the very cheap ammunition that I'm using. Uh, at 25 yards, I was able to get a fist size um, grouping of four out of the five rounds. So again, using cheap ammunition, it's done great. However, what I will say is that uh, there are a lot of sharp edges on this pistol. Um, you can laugh at me or whatever the case may be, but I did uh, cut open my thumb <laughs> shooting at the two gun match, um, shooting this pistol. Um, not that big of a deal. I just, it's just a scratch, it's a small scratch. It wasn't that big of a deal, but for some people that might be a no-go, right? Uh, some of the, uh, edges on this are pretty abrupt uh, and sharp. Not like they'll cut your hand sharp, but just after shooting a full day, it, um, it will get a little annoying. It'll kind of maybe put some hot spots in your hand. So I'd love to see OA Defense um, bevel some of these uh, ledges a little bit more so that it's a little bit more comfortable to shoot. That would be really nice. Uh, the grip texture on this is just fine. Um, it's very similar to that of a SIG P320, but I would like to see it a little bit more aggressive. I was shooting in uh, a two-gun match that was raining most of the morning, so uh, my hands were pretty much wet all day. Uh, I can move, I can feel this kind of slide around in my hand, so there's that. I, I do have some grip strength issues in my hands right now. Uh, this year I've had some, some injuries in my hand and... Um, this hand I can't completely close all the way, so uh, having a little bit more of an aggressive grip texture on this would help kind of lock that in place a little bit more. They have these ledges here, which um, are not that big of a deal for most people, just not my personal preference. I would like to see them eliminate those ledges and um, use the same grip texture all the way around the, uh, the grip module. So. Um, that's kind of the biggest complaints that I have about this. Some of the issues that we've seen in the past with OA defense pistols have been mitigated, have been fixed. Um, my red dot is locked in really nice and tight. I had some issues with it working itself loose within about 200 rounds. No problems here running not only 124, but 115 grain stuff. Um, the front sight would uh, move. I could move it with my thumb. That's been fixed as well, so that is a uh, great to see that OA Defense has identified some of the issues in the first runs of this last year and have already fixed those problems. So there is the once-over of the 
OA Defense 2311 Compact Pro. Um, it, it, again, a lot of fun to shoot, had a lot of fun. It's not for everybody. Price point is going to be an issue for a lot of people. Uh, the Staccato fanboys are probably not going to buy into this because obviously they're Staccato fanboys, right? So it's like saying something's better than a Glock. Oh my goodness, I said that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so much for you guys swinging by and checking things out. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested in supporting the channel, some of the best ways to do that is to subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this pistol. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're interested in supporting the channel financially, a great way to do that is through the tip jar or becoming a channel member. I would uh, greatly uh, just really appreciate the financial support to offset the cost of ammunition so I can continue to bring you guys these videos. That would be super, super cool. With that being said, we'll get out of here. Thanks so much. As always, here comes a high five. Freedom through strength. Bye, y'all.